So here we are, face to face behind the handball courts, about to commence our relationship. So we hold hands, we're talking, and we're giggling, and everybody's like, oh, it's so cute. They're looking at us and everything. So I go in, and I turn my head to the right. She tilts her head to the right, so we're like this. Oh, boy. Yo, what's up my YouTube fam? Today is a true story about the first time I've ever French kissed anybody in my life. <laughs> Yo, it was the sixth grade. So I was big man on campus. You know, when you're in the sixth grade, that's the last grade of grade school before you go off to junior high. So I was big man on campus. We had just moved from Compton, California to Long Beach. So here I am surrounded by white folks at a, at a new school called Grant Elementary. Because before that, I went to an all-black school since I was a little baby, right? Here I am living in Long Beach. I got some new friends and um, new surroundings, a whole new world, man. I'm surrounded by white girls. I, I'm not used to that. The only white girls I've ever seen was on TV, like the bionic woman. Charlie's Angels, you know, stuff like that, right? Well, during the course of the school year, this one girl named, named Stephanie, I heard through the grapevine that she had a crush on me. And Stephanie was a pretty ass white girl, blonde hair, blue eyes, a couple of freckles. She even had breasts back in those days in the sixth grade, right? And um, back then we would pass notes so I heard rumors on the recess that she was feeling a brother and I got a note one day going into class that it was from Stephanie. So I read the note, hi, I'm Stephanie, I think you're cute. I wonder if you're single or if not, uh, would you mind going out with me and to commence our relationship, meet me today after school behind the handball court and we can have our first kiss. So here I am reading this letter in class. I'm like, oh man, damn, damn. My homeboy Jamal, right? I told him all about it. He goes, man, Stephanie is fly. Dude, she is fine. So throughout the course of the day, I'm going to recess and then lunch. And I'm getting excited. I'm getting hyped. I told all my homeboys, my boy Jamal and my other homies. Yo, man, today after school, I'm kissing Stephanie. Right? Right. Well, the bell rings. Everybody goes home. The buses showed up and everything. We stayed late, you know. Then we go behind the um, handball courts. It's me, Stephanie, and like three of her friends, my homeboy Jamal, and two other buddies, right? I don't remember their names. So here we are, face to face behind the handball courts, about to commence our relationship. So we hold hands, we're talking, and we're giggling. Everybody like, oh, it's so cute. They're looking at us and everything. So I go in, and I turn my head to the right. She tilts her head to the right, so we're like this. Oh boy. Um, her tongue started touching me all over my lips and nose. I'm like, what the hell, man? She goes, oh my God, what the fuck? I'm like, what you doing licking me all over my face? And my homeboy Jamal was like, I'm like, what's going on? She goes, you don't know how to kiss. I go, yeah, I, I know how to kiss. What's wrong with you, woman? And she got mad, and she almost started to cry and walked off. Her homegirl went up to me and said, oh, my God, you're such an ass. Uh, and flipped me off. I'm like, fuck you, bitch. And I flipped her off. I did my finger all up in her face and everything. They walked off and trying to console her. I'm like, well, what the hell? My homeboy's are like, dude, let's roll. I'm like, I'm out. Let's get out of here, man. And we started walking home, you know, from the school. I'm walking with my best, you know, black walk. I'm mad as hell, right? Motherfucker, you know. My friends are like, yo, dog, um, we need to talk. I go, what, man? This woman look at me. She goes, dude, you, you don't know how to French kiss, do you? I go, French kiss? What the fuck? French? We, we ain't French? What are you talking to? Dude, seriously, man, all jokes aside, we don't kiss like that no more. We French kiss now. Man, you use your tongue. I'm like, what? 
I, man, I never heard of no bullshit like that. They go, man, look, I go, well, how do you French kiss? They go, dude, you open your mouth wide as you can, right? And then your mouths touch and your tongues touch each other. I'm like, man, that, and they said, dude, all jokes aside, home, but when you go home, you need to figure this shit out because she's the finest girl in school. I mean, Stephanie was fine, like Suzanne Summers fine from Three's Company, right? And you know, it was mixed relations. I'm black, she's white. You know, I said, man, you need to get your act together, partner. See you tomorrow at school. Boom, they turned off, went home. You know, I'm like, man, I went home. And back then, I ain't gonna lie, I was still taking baths. I wasn't taking showers yet. So I was in the bathtub, you know, with my G.I. Joes, my little rubber shark from the Jaws movie playing around. And I kept looking over at the soap dish on the counter. And I'm playing with my toys again in the bathtub. I look over again at the counter at the soap dish. I'm like, French kiss, huh? I need to learn how to French. They call it Frenching. So I grabbed the damn soap dish, right? Clean it off real good. One of the little portable ones, you know. Clean it off real good. And ladies and gentlemen, as embarrassing as this is, this is what I did. I practiced French kissing on a soap dish. I was up there. Yeah, I'm, yeah okay, this is how you French kiss. Did it for a while. <laughs> so the next day at school, right? I write Stephanie a letter apologizing, saying, look, I want to make things up. And I pass it to her home girl. She gives it to her, you know, in between classes and everything. And, um, not classes, but back then, it was go to the same class, but in between the hallway, you get somebody a note to get to their friend. So Stephanie forgave me, and we talked about it at lunch. We hung out, we drank milk and had cookies, and you know, we shared our lunch and everything. Everything was cool. Her homegirls forgave me, my homeboys were with me, and we was all chilling and hanging out together again, right? So, the dreadful bell ring for school to get out. The buses came, loaded up the kids, took off. We hung out for a while, went back again behind the handball courts, right? And uh, my buddy Jamal said, man, I'm gonna show you how it was done. He pointed to one of Stephanie's homegirls and said, come here, let's kiss. She was like, okay. You know, she was chewing gum. Everybody chewed gum back then. She was, took the gum out of her mouth and stuck it on the damn wall behind her. That was nasty, but Hey, I was peeping game. Them two came face to face. Their mouths opened up and they went at it. They was, mm, mm. man, my black ass up there looking like this, studying like, okay. Now when you kids, you did weird things like that. Everybody was like, oh wow, you know, okay. And they stopped and they walked away. I mean, they weren't even together. They just did it. And um, I saw, you know, kids were a trip back then. I said, okay, well, Stephanie. Will you give me a second chance? I had my hand out like uh, my boy. <laughs> you know, trying to be all smooth and swallow like in mahogany. Will you give me another chance? I'm Billy D. Williams. Well, me and Stephanie embraced each other. I turned my head to the right. She turned her head to the right. We went at it. It was a little difficult at first because my mouth wasn't open quite wide enough. But I managed to get it right. And there we were. We were... You know, and I kind of opened my eyes and looked around. Her eyes were closed, right? I'm looking around. And all of my friends were like, and Stephanie's friends were like, oh my God, he got it right. Chewing gum and shit. And, um, <laughs> dude, that is a true story. So, I learned how to French kiss from a white woman way back in the sixth grade, y'all. And, Stephanie, if you're out there, thank you very much. You're a big part of me being the man that I am now, learning how to French kiss. <laughs> Lord have mercy the things we go through as adolescents. But yo, thank you for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe. And that's a true story from your boy right here on Blacktastic News. Until next time.